Good morning, everybody. Nintendo Capri's on here. Welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. And considering the state that this town is in, this kid sure seems happy. I'm gonna be a Blitzball when I grow up. You're gonna be a Blitzball. That's awesome. I was thinking more like a soccer ball myself, you know, because then I could do the whole Vuvuzela thing, whatever the hell that is. Oh, hey, Dato. Hey, you awake? Oh, I don't need to read the dialogue. I'm being stupid. Now, I missed an Albed Primer in the last episode, and you know what? I don't even care, because it actually respawns later anyway, so I'll just get it then. Then I'm playing through the game a second time because I missed two of the first three Albed Primers. And how much of an idiot can you possibly be? But speaking of Albed Primers, here's the fourth one here, next to this guy sitting here. I don't care if there isn't any food. I just want to stay here. I'm scared to even look out at the sea. I can feel it out there. Can't you? Yeah, I suppose I could have talked to the bartender. But I don't need to drink, I need to help. So, let's see what we can do. There's really, I mean, not much we can do, but there, there are a few things here and there you could probably do. Such as if you come over here and examine this uh, house here, it's about to crumble. And Titus is like, huh? You know, because that's what he always does. He's like, huh? Huh? Eh? 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 Yeah. Uh, not good, not good. Huh. Way to go, Titus. You just saved a kid's life. And the kid bows. Aww. That's so cute. Well, we might have to check into getting our reward for that later. Wait, what? Can I go? Walk is waiting for me. Yeah, I guess he is. But where would that be exactly? Let's just take a look around town, I guess. He's probably back at the entrance, goofing off out there at the sea. Maybe fishing with Cypher and Raijin and Fujin. You know, watching Raijin get his butt kicked by Fujin into the sea, and Fujin spreads her legs way apart more than you'd think she'd be able to to actually make the kick. Well, the boat's gone. I don't know if it's the toxin, but I can't remember a thing. Like my name, my house. Thought someone might notice me and help me out if I sat here. But no one's paying any attention. I guess everyone has their own problems to worry about. Yeah, that's kind of how it is, you know. It's like in that song where he says everybody's expecting sympathy. Hey, Waka! What's up, dude? Ah, there you are. Hey, hey, Uper. Huddle! On to the temple, where we pray for victory. Victory! 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 Lord O'Holland used to live in the Kilika temple here. Yep, Lord O'Holland was once a great blitzer, you know? Waka. Titus doesn't care. Praying for victory is so good. <sighs> But is this right? So is says the atheist. Is this really the time? This is the only time. There the you go. Fight with all their strength. The fans cheer for their favorite team. They forget pain, suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Blitz has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. Whatever you say. Yeah, what I find. Ugh, okay, can I talk right? for a second here? Oh. Right. Right. Yeah, let's go. The jungle there. Let's go. Yeah, the thing that puzzles me is if Blitzball's been around for so long and it's like the only source of entertainment they've had for the last thousand years, then wouldn't there be records of me somewhere? Obtained ether. Yeah, you can only get that treasure chest if you save the kid. So, yeah. One thing that I actually kind of like about Final Fantasy X2, which I can't believe I'm saying I like something about X2, but well, it's just a little thing. This transition from Kilika to the woods, X2 kind of does a better job of showing exactly how that works. Because in this game, basically, you walk to the end of the dock, and all of a sudden you're in the woods. You don't really see what it looks like as you're going from the dock to the woods. But in X2, they have an extra screen there where it shows the beach and the dock leading up to the beach and the beach going to the woods. And I just kind of liked that. It made the world feel more complete. And I think they could have used that here. But alas, maybe I'm just stupid. So let's say, look at this. Five minutes in, we ain't done jack squat. We've picked up an Albed primer, and that's about it. No, I don't want to overwrite. Whatever. By the way, thanks to. Uh, uh, What's up? Yuna's saying she wants you with us. Huh? Huh? I knew it. I knew he was going to say, huh? To ask you to be my guardian. What? You know what? There's no time for jokes, yeah? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. Yeah, yeah. 
Not a guardian, then. I just want him nearby. Whoa. Because I love him. <laughs> what? what do you mean? <laughs> He's got the Queen of Spades look on his face. Well, oh, don't even ask me to explain that one. We're all going to the temple anyway. Can't this wait till later? This? Uh, yeah, this. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... There's no. nothing to be sorry about. I'm just not really sure what's going on. Dude, don't pretend. You know she likes you. My apologies. Oh, and, and now you got her apologizing to you, too. Way to go, Titus. Like, and he didn't even do anything. The Detroit Lion just stands there like, what the hell? Just whatever. You know? Just whatever. Uh, my thoughts exactly. And as you're going through these woods, you're going to want to talk to a lot of people. Like, at least twice. Because many of them have special items for you. Seed cannon. Okay, so we got a... Oh, this is a scripted battle, Come that's on. right. Why don't you use Lancet on it? What's a Lancet? <laughs> Normally, Something from some song. That weakens enemies and heals the user. Yeah. But when Alonso uses it, that Ronso can sometimes learn Fiend's abilities. Nice. Hey, sounds cool. Sounds cool! What are you acting so nice about? He just attacked you. He's not your friend. Stop trying to make him your friend. Okay, so Kimari learned Seed Cannon. Now we're just gonna finish him off with fire. Uh, actually, don't kill him. Thank you. Because we want uh, some other people to gain experience here. Such as Yuna. And. Waka as well. Oh, uh, well, I guess Waka's gonna sit that one out. There's also certain um, pieces of dialogue that you can get in battle that go along with the cutscenes that you just watched. And I think it's so clever the way they did this. Like, I'll show you one in a second here when we get to another battle. Scout, that's another... You know, I haven't actually been checking out my equipment very well. Um, see, we got all these new swords for uh, Titus here. But pretty much the Brotherhood is still the best thing for him. Buckler, his shield, the blue shield, he's got Water Ward. So that'll cut water damage by, I believe, 25%. It might be, thir or it might be 50, but I'm not sure. Now this is really important here. Rod of Wisdom. See this? Magic plus 5, magic plus 3%. And sense are definitely a good weapon for her to have. And Seeker's Ring gives HP plus 10%, so we'll get that to her. I could just press R, I guess. Variable Mog gives magic plus 3, and Ice has Ice Strike. Now, Ice Strike is like a basically elemental of ice on your attack, but she's never going to be attacking, so that's not going to matter. But magic plus 3, that will matter, so we'll do that. Nothing much for her. Kimari, has got his usual crap, and nothing for armor yet. Scout, what do we just pick up? That's got Ice Strike and Sensor. This has Dark Touch. Um, the, the difference between, like, sometimes it says Touch and sometimes it says Strike. Strike means it's definite. Like, if I had Dark Strike, that would be 100% blindness and 100% chance to inflict blindness. But, since it's, well, uh, since it's Dark Touch, that means it's only a chance to inflict darkness. So, and that would be nice, actually. I think it probably, I mean, I'd actually, I don't know. So it might be better to use that. Anyway, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Just who do you think you are? That's funny. Okay, so I'm going to take Titus out and I'm going to bring Waka in. I could take care of those alone, huh? Yeah, I'm sure. <clears throat> Besides, Waka's already got dark attack anyway. Burn. <laughs> wow, that was nice. I knew she had some funny lines there, but I don't know if burns really funny, but holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Okay, now, um, I'll bring in Kimari. And he's already used Lancet. He's got Overdrive, too, Ronzo Rage. What I'm actually gonna do is have him, uh, defend as well. Because, uh, in order to trigger this line of dialogue, you basically have to have Waka in the party, and not have Titus in the party, and then bring Titus into the party. Sorry. <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines ever. And it's like, it's really hard to get it because how often do you have walk in the party and not Titus and then bring Titus in? So the odds of actually getting that line to, you know, hearing that line in a playthrough are not so likely. Anyway, well, yeah, so that was kind of cool. I took a little too long explaining all that, though. So we're just kind of going around the perimeter here as we got to... Uh, I need to be watching for like... I, I probably should put this on full screen because I could see a lot better if I did. Um... Easy, huh? I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll use cheer, Let's I guess. Give them all we got. Okay, sounds good. 
Might as well keep these battles in you get to hear all these funny lines. It's just crazy, man. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, this is where they really start to go crazy with making sound effects with their voices. Yeah, so that was Kamara using Seed Cannon back on the... I'm ready. You're ready. I'm ready too. And also, a great thing about switching a character in is if you have a character that's out of battle and you want to do something with them right away, you can switch them in and do it right away, because like I said before, when you put in a command, it executes that command right away. So and the same is true for characters who've just been brought into battle. So that worked out pretty good for Lulu there. This is also not a bad place to grind if you feel like grinding up some experience, which is actually something you probably want to do. I should have been able to get the O2 in this battle, but I didn't. Or in this video, it's not going to happen, though. Anyway, we Crusaders are training for the upcoming operation. Call on us if you see any sin spawn. You're heading for Killika Temple and just follow this trail. Poisonous fiends in the forest. Be on your guard and you get a remedy. Okay. Now there's a big intersection coming up here on the map, and yeah, let's take a look at that. <laughs> I don't know if you want to mess with that just yet, but at the very least we should go to the Sphere Grid. And uh, this is Lulu's Sphere Grid, where you can see she's already got her spells. Fire and water and all that stuff. So she starts right here, and we're going to move her down to this spot right here. Some of these nodes are empty, so just because you gain a level doesn't mean you'll always get something, because there's empty nodes, as you can see. But... But there are some spheres, they're extremely rare, but you will get spheres to actually fill in those nodes with something. And usually when you fill them in with something, it'll be like the maximum upgrade you could possibly get. Like if it was a strength sphere, and I wanted to turn this into a strength upgrade, I could do that, and it would always be like a strength plus four. Anyway, we'll press R and go to Kamari here. Oh, shoot. I didn't research Kamari's sphere grid very well. I think I'll skip on him and do that in between videos. So here's Yuna here. She's already got Isuna and Cure. She can't go any further up. So her first several abilities are not something that I use very often, although maybe I should because they actually can be pretty useful. Um, she's got Null Shock, Null Blaze, basically a Nullify spell for each of the elements. And if you use it in battle, it actually like completely nullifies the effect of that spell on you for one turn, I think it is. And I don't know why I didn't use that more when I would play through the game, because because I've seen other people use it in LPs, and it's, like, really useful, so... There's Flea, that means basically you can instantly run away. Power, Strength increased by one. Power, Defense increased by one. Now let's move on up to here. And get a Speed upgrade. Agility increased by one. Okay, now walk his turn. We'll just go down right here. And this can this can be kind of boring to watch, I guess. I mean, it's like... I don't know, though. This is, like, my favorite part of playing the game. It's just going through these upgrades and getting everything and seeing how much more powerful I get. And then seeing these upgrades, like, manifest themselves in battle. It's really cool. So that's pretty much everybody except for Kimari. I have something specific I want to do with him. I'm pretty much probably going to do the same thing that Dario did with his. Uh, so yeah, whatever. But, um, uh, the Ochu, man, oh man. Uh, I'm actually kind of nervous about this. But yeah, okay, we're, we're gonna take on the Ochu in the next video. This enemy right here. Yep, yes we are. So I will see you then next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. See you guys later. Sorry we didn't get more done in this episode. Hopefully maybe in the coming episodes we can get more done. So, yeah. See you later.